Good morning, people. Good morning from Slovakia. to Morskie Oko, which is like a lake in the middle of mountains, kind of maybe you saw somewhere. It's mm. it's like the most popular hike to do when you come to Zakopane. It's not too bad of a hike, but the issue is the parking. If you want to park anywhere near it, you have to pay and we don't want to pay for parking. Yeah. As well as our friend Mo, our new van friend Mo, he's also stingy with parking. So we parked <laughs> over here in Slovakia together. Hopefully this spot is good. So actually we're going to walk back over the border and Head up to Morskioko in a bit, but first we're going to make some quick breakfast. Which is porridge because we need lots of energy today. Because uh, that hike is like three hours, over three hours, three and a half. No. Three hours? It's two and a half from the car park. So yeah, maybe. Okay, three but we stop with some snacks, you know. Uh, porridge. Porridge. That's milled grain with some rice, coconut milk. Milled grain. Coconut milk, cashews, peanut butter, jam, cinnamon, and apple. And chia seeds. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Uh, we are now back in Poland. Actually, not. Actually, this is Wait, like the when we cross between. The it's not part no of it. We're in no man's land. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and this river is like the the border, separating the two. I'd say it's pretty easy to cross now. Yeah, no passport control, no <laughs> no police checkpoints. Mo's got a fact. Yeah, uh, Moski Oko, which is where we're hiking to, is apparently one of the five most beautiful lakes in the whole entire world, rated by some magazine. Caption that. <laughs> some magazine. In the whole world? Yeah. That's surprising. Maybe Martin Lake. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I just I read that online. <laughs> so the magazine Mo was reading, very posh, the Wall Street Journal, top what? five in the world, 2014. I didn't read shit, I read it online. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for thinking I'm posh. <laughs> Yeah, we a little bit, but it's also flattened out now. Oh, we're here. <laughs> Ma, Ma went to toilet again. <laughs> here we shall have a shortcut, which you can take. 
and that will be literally 15 minutes faster but also much steeper so we decided just to take easy road but a little bit longer Mosky Oko translates to Eye of the Sea and is the largest and fourth deepest lake in the Tatra Mountains range. Take some nice pictures. Mo is being our, our photographer and he's doing a great job. And I told him to step further away from the camera because yeah. people we, don't want to see that. <laughs> we went here for the Asana, Asana photographer. Oh. So if you want to see these shots, I'll put them in the video, but follow us on Instagram anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see them. Bye. <laughs> like and subscribe to team a team underscore between the team and the, the team. And follow Mo on Instagram, I'll put yes. it here. My, my Instagram is. Let's my, get him to 1,000 followers. <laughs> I'm like 800, but okay. You can try. You can try. Yes, it's my goal. Yeah, Mo is going up there because there's that's, another that's lake. Wrong. Point it more up. Yeah, tomorrow he's going up there, but <laughs> for now he's going up that trail and there's another lake just up there. But we don't want to do that because we're very cold. Justin is cold, and we want to go see what? Slovakia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. So it's a bye for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> but not bye from us. We're still here. <laughs> There's more video. <laughs> bye. Not too many people, which I'm quite happy about. Even though we didn't come super early. Uh, it's definitely the quiet season now, but I would not like to do this in summer. In summer, I'm sure there, this is just going to be absolutely packed. There'll be horses full of people constantly going up and down. And probably a big queue to take a picture, which I definitely don't like. So, quite happy we're here at this time of the year. And we're going back to the van. Yes, cold. It is cold up here. Now we're still walking and we're just standing still a bit chilly but yes that's mostly Oko. hopefully you like that uh, we forgot to mention that you actually have to pay to go into this national park and it is eight zloty each which is about what two euros not even two euros yeah i think one euro fifty or something so not bad but not free
And we're coming uh, up to the border again. It only took us about an hour and a half to get down from the top to like the car park. And then maybe like another 10 minutes to this point, to the border. And we're gonna cross over into Slovakia again. And hopefully our van's all good. Wowzas. And here we are, back in Slovakia. So if you want to park on the Slovakian side, you can pay. And they're charging way less than the Polish side. Um, I think the Polish side, you're paying around 40 zloty. Um, and 30 along the street. Yeah, and 30 if you want to park on the street. Here, 20 zloty over there. Uh, 25 zloty over here. And our car park? For free. Hopefully, for free. And let's see if actually our vans are still there. Hopefully. <sighs> yeah. A bit nerve wracking now at this point. But you're going to join us live as we experience these emotions. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, good vans. <laughs> oh, I see something. I see Mo's van. Okay, Mo's van's still there, that's good. And... I see our van! <sighs> okay, good. Okay, our vans are there. There's no apparent things on the wheels. Well, on this side. On this side, yes. So far everything looks normal, but... Yeah, let's see. Is a beautiful tree, yes. Okay, all wheels are free. I see that from now, from here. Now we just need to check the windscreen. <laughs> oh, just check Mo's first. Oof. Success! Yeah. Yes! Nothing! Nothing! Oh yes! Thank you very much! Thank you Slovakia for free car park! Thank you Slovakia for being nice to us and letting us park for free! I mean, we were, we we're pretty sure it was going to be fine. This, this is like definitely a place you can stop your car. But there is a sign a couple of kilometers, you know, at the start of this road for no stopping and parking. So. We weren't really sure uh, if it would be fully all right, but here we are. All good, all safe. We're gonna drive. Um, we found a nice spot, like 15 minutes sort of down the road, where we'll be kind of, well, just in a nicer place with some nice views. I think we're gonna drive there before it's getting dark. Uh, and then we don't really have a plan yet uh, where, which direction we're going. So I guess we'll figure that out when we get to the next spot. And we'll probably see Mo again because this is the only road and he's going to be driving probably next to the same spot, so. Let's head out of here and go to some next spot. So this is a pretty cool spot, but we do feel like uh, we've been in Zakopane for like four days, I think now, and it's kind of time to move on. Uh, this spot was only 10 minutes from where we parked, uh, and we want to make a bit of more, bit more distance while we still have a bit of daylight. So we're going to have a look for a different park for night. I'm sure this one is very lovely. It has very good reviews, 
and I'm sure it's a very nice uh, sunrise and stuff, but yeah, at the moment we just kind of have some, some clouds with the mountains. Uh, we found a, another park night, 4.9 stars, outside a derelict B&B slash hotel. Uh, it looks good, there's some hiking trails, and it is 56 minutes away, so a decent little bit of a drive. We just arrived at our spot and it is next to an abandoned uh, hotel. hotel or something. And there's nobody else here. There is a one pickup truck. You can charge your electric vehicle here. Oh, really? It's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Well, so one random car and some. Yeah, I want to see what those what are, are actually. What are they doing? Oh, they look like, I don't know, houses or something, but. We stopped at a little on the way here and we did find baked beans. You can find them in Poland too. But we saw them and they were on discount and we fancied them so for dinner. We're having beans on toast. With Is that a crime? Well, let us know in the comments. But it's nice. If you haven't tried it, try it. Right, we're just gonna have a bit of a wash um, after all of this hiking. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hair in the sink as well because it's cold outside, so I won't show you me washing my body, but basically you get a towel, you get some soap, you wipe yourself down and yeah, that's that's one way of cleaning yourself in the van. Uh, but I will show you washing the hair in the sink. Just turned around. This place is also next to some kind of uh, national park as well. So tomorrow we're gonna go for a little hike. Uh, it's only like 45 minutes one way. So yeah, that would be nice. The gray side is for the face. I'm gonna move to the green side now. And uh, well, you can't see that, so. Mm. Yeah. I feel like it missed. Yeah, it just got a little bit. And that's how we can have a stealthy shower inside the van, even in bad weather or cold weather. All right, I'm gonna do the same. It's seven o'clock right now, and I'm so ready for bed because I'm so tired. Yeah, it's early, but uh, after all this hiking, we are done and we need a rest. So we're gonna see you next time. We'll see you in Slovakia. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.